Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how to find trending products to sell right now in Q4 2019, so obviously leading up to Christmas. With Christmas coming up, in my opinion, there's no better time to start your dropshipping business, purely because people are in buying moods. They're not only buying things for themselves, but they're gonna be buying things for friends and family as well, obviously as gifts. In my opinion too, there's no easier way to have success when it comes to dropshipping than selling trending products, purely because trending products are called trending products for a reason it's because they're currently in popular demand so in this video then i'm just going to show you the few different tips and tricks and websites and resources that i use to go out there and find those products that are currently selling really well before we jump into it though i just want to very quickly mention as always in every single video i do give away a free one-to-one -one call with me so a chance for me and you then to have a chat on skype we can go through your facebook ads we can look at different products i can review your store whatever it is then it's a chance for me and you to just have a chat and I can help you out however you need it. For your chance to win that then, it's dead easy to do. All you have to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and leave a comment down below. And if you commented on my previous video then, which I think I uploaded on Saturday, make sure you stay tuned to the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And with that being said then guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it, and let's get straight into it. So the first point is ideally go for products that fit a sub niche. Now what I mean by that is to give you an example, if you're selling a generic dog product, so for example, it could be a dog bowl or a dog bottle or something then if somebody owns a dog then obviously they're going to have that connection with it whereas if instead you were to show that customer a pair of socks that had I don't know a pug on it or a Labrador on it and they themselves own a Labrador or a pug then that product will have more of a connection with your audience and in my experience the more personal you can make your Facebook ad to the audience then the higher your conversion rate is going to be the second advantage to doing this as well which is the second point is it could double up as a gift so if you put an ad out there for say some Labrador socks if somebody has a friend which owns Labrador then it's a specific product unique to their specific friend and therefore they're more likely to have that connection with the ad more likely to think of their friend when they see their product and actually buy it for their friend and you never know they might have two or three friends with the same dog and buy two or three of the same product for their friends in fact one thing i like to do this time of year is mention the word gift somewhere in your ad so it could be in the video in the image or in the actual ad copy itself the so for for example their labrador socks you could say the perfect gift for the labrador lover or for somebody who owns a labrador and that way then you cover all bases even if someone sees that ad and they don't own a labrador themselves by mentioning that it makes a perfect gift for somebody who does have a Labrador then instantly it's going to trigger their memory of that friend and therefore it increases your chances of them actually buying that product and as it says there in the brackets the more specific the better moving on to point number two then ideally choose a product that is cost to you including shipping less than $10 delivered. A couple of reasons for this then. Number one, it leaves enough room for you to sell it for your Facebook cost per purchase, plus to make the item cheap enough to be considered an impulse buy product. The second thing as well is that if you're watching this channel and you're in the UK, once the cost to us as buyers goes above 15 pounds, then that's when duties and VAT and things like that start to come into play. Moving on to the third point then, and this is an evidence-based point. So what this means is that when you find a product, what you want to do is build up evidence that there's a current demand for this product. And I'm gonna show you multiple ways of doing that through this video. The first way then is to check the dropshipping center within AliExpress and look at the daily order volume. And if it's over 1%, then that's good. And it shows that there's currently a strong demand for this product and if there's a current demand for it then there should be no reason why we can't sell it on Facebook so to give you an example then this was one of the products I found um, you can see that it's got 164,000 orders which is just absolutely crazy but then if we put this into our dropshipping center we can see that daily these guys are getting consistently over 3,000 orders if you do the maths if I've done it correctly then that actually is over 1% and then therefore that confirms that this product is currently in strong demand Moving on to the next point then is sometimes a handy one. You can sometimes find some pretty cool products, which is the hot DS items, 
within the AliExpress dropshipping center. So it's this tab here. Sometimes it gives you some kind of like generic products before you choose a category. It's a bit, here we go. So some, it's, sometimes it's worth flicking through. Sometimes you just get a load of rubbish, but it's always worth checking just in case you come across that little gem. Sometimes what I like to do as well is actually go to the very last page and actually work my way backwards because these are gonna be the products that less people have seen and therefore potentially open up an opportunity to be one of the first people to actually bring these products to Facebook. Moving on to the next point then, for confirmation, you can always go to CJ Dropshipping and look at the trending tab on there. So the reason I like CJ Dropshipping is because this uh, this essentially is for dropshipping items. AliExpress, there's a lot of end users. So just because a particular product has loads of orders like this one, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good product for dropshipping. Whereas these are all dropshipping products and therefore if they're doing well on here, then obviously somebody else is doing well by dropshipping these. So in theory, if we do a good job, we should be able to dropship them successfully as well. Just to give you a quick introduction then to CJ Dropshipping because obviously you guys can head over to their site, create a free account and have a play around yourself. Um, there's a couple of things you need to be aware of. Number one, you can change where the item comes from. So if you're selling to the US, you can obviously filter by the US warehouse and therefore you're gonna get a lot quicker shipping as it says there with USP plus um, it's going to cost you but you can get it in two to five days the next thing as well is the price too so going back to the point where i said less than ten dollars delivered obviously you can put ten dollars in there and therefore any product you see you know you're going to be able to ship around the world relatively hassle free the third and final point i want to show you is if you see have a look down here the number that's next to lists the more lists then the more popular the product is but before you come to any conclusion on any product, you should always double check it against the AliExpress dropshipping center, and you should always double check it on Google Trends, which I'm gonna to mention to you in a second. Moving on to the next point then, another handy little website that not a lot of people know about. It's called thieve.co, and sometimes it's a great place to look for products as inspiration. And again, these guys have got a trending tab. So you can click the trending button and it's gonna give you loads of pretty cool products you probably won't have seen before. And what I really like about this too is you've got the option to filter by the niche as well. All of these products, by the way, are sourceable on AliExpress. So if we just open up this one, for example, we can go to buy on AliExpress and it's gonna take us to the product page. Another handy little feature that thieve.co has as well is that people can upvote it and heart something. So obviously the more hearts a product has, then it gives you a slight indication into what people are currently liking. But as I mentioned, make sure anything you find on here that you just double check against the other methods I'm going to show you in this video. Next up then is a very important one. As it says here, this is a must. Whatever you do, make sure that the products you're going to sell is currently in demand. And one way to do that then is to put it into Google Trends. Let's give you an example then, sticking with this magnetic USB cable, I've put it into the search terms. We're going worldwide in the past five years. And what you can see is that at the beginning, no one really wanted it. However, it's been fairly consistent since about 2017. And at the moment, it's kind of on a slight uprise, but not really. So what this would tell me is that there's fairly consistent demand for this product. So if it was me then with this information, what I would do is have a look at the regions in which it's most popular, which we can see is Australia, Canada, and India. I would focus on the most popular regions and I would market it accordingly to these related queries. So I would market it as a magnetic charging cable for USB-C, which you can see is currently rising on the breakout, which shows there's more and more people searching for that particular service search term and therefore are going to be interested in that product. So whatever you do then, no matter what product you find, make sure you head across to Google Trends, put it into the search bar and just see what comes up. Moving on then, another really valuable tool in my opinion is the Facebook ad library. It used to be a load of rubbish to put it bluntly, but Facebook changed it all around now so you can get some pretty decent information from it. So one thing I like to use it for is to spy on competitors because if there's some big names selling certain products, the reason that spending money to advertise their products is because they see potential in them. And thanks to Facebook, we can see what products they're advertising and put them on our own stores. So three different shops that you guys can use for inspiration. These are three general stores. So there's gonna be a range of products and they're pretty big ones. And when I say pretty big ones, all three of these are confirmed to be seven figure stores. So again, to give you an example then, we have Hygo Shop here. You can filter by all the different countries, which is really good because it shows you what countries you should then be focusing on. And all of these are AliExpress products too. So 
On here, you can get some pretty good inspiration. You can then put it into Google Trends to double check. You can also double check it with the AliExpress dropshipping center. And if all the numbers stack up, then obviously you can put it on your store and start testing it with Facebook ads. One of the features of the Facebook ad library that I really like is obviously you can see the whole ad in its entirety. And if you just go ahead, click see ad details, you can actually play the ad and see the exact video ad too. So again, you've got pretty much all the information right in front of you to go ahead and actually stick this product on your store and start marketing it yourself. Speaking of marketing then, in my opinion, it's always better to split test your ads across Facebook and Instagram purely because everybody is in a buying mood. It doesn't matter what age people are. Anybody over the age of kind of like 18, 21 is always going to be looking for gifts to buy their family and friends. So make sure you split test then across Facebook and Instagram. When you find that one ad set that works, make sure you double down on the ad set purely because then Q4 is great for selling, but marketing costs will increase over the course of Q4 because people will be increasing their budgets as well. And what you've got to remember is that Facebook is a bidding platform. So the more people are funneling into their Facebook ads, the more competitive it's going to be and the more expensive the results are going to be. So to combat this then, the best thing you can do is put the majority of your budget through two to three ad sets. And what this means then is that if you have, say, $1,000 to play with, you're much better off putting that through two to three ad sets. So $500 an ad set, rather than splitting that budget across 10 different ad sets because if you've got 10 different ad sets on really small budgets, they're just gonna get outbid by the people spending more money than you, and therefore you're not gonna see the results that you hoped for. Now, with that being said then guys, I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to cover in this video. So if you're still watching, thank you very much. I really appreciate the support on my YouTube channel recently. If we can get to 10,000 subs by the end of the year, that would be absolutely amazing. So please do make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and any questions whatsoever, I do get back to every single person. So just make sure you leave a question in the comment section below. That being said then, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video and see who's gonna win that one-to-one -one call. Here we are then on the previous video. If you're one of the people watching this planning on doing dropshipping full time, then make sure you go check this video out. It's gonna help you out a lot. I go through the entire breakdown, including taxes, everything, to basically at the end, you know exactly how much money you need to earn in order to make 30 grand profit per year. Anyway, that being said, let's get into announcing the winner of the call. I'm just gonna take the URL, pop it into this box, get the YouTube comments. 23 unique comments since the last video, which is awesome, so thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And the winner of the previous video then is Carmelo. So thank you very much for your comment. Hit me up on Instagram, we can get that call arranged. And guys, if you just wanna get straight down to business, book a call right away, you can do so. Make sure you check out the links in the video description below. That being said then guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one.